Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla unboxing. Off the heels of the prototype goof uh, from a couple weeks ago, here we have the RX 79G EZ8, also known as just Gundam EZ8 from the Mobile Suit Gundam series 8th MS team. As you can see here, I'd like to say Amazon messed this box up. Uh, the front is crushed here, on the back, they tore a hole in it. It was not pretty when I got this. I was afraid that it was damaged. Uh, luckily it wasn't. So we're gonna we're gonna look at it. On the front here we have some great art. Uh, typically says who it was drawn by but seems to be all in Japanese with no English characters, Roman characters, whatever you want to call them. So I don't get to know. But here we have the suit for the kit, Easy 8. In the background, we have a destroyed Zaku, regular RX-79, and then here we have GM Head, all main character suits from close to the end of the series. Looking at the side of the box, we have some specifications for the EZ-8 action pose, finished pictures of the model, some general info about EZ-8. <clears throat> Over here on the side, we can see this is HGUC number 155. And taking a look at this side, we have some action poses and weapon details. So, looking at the outside of the box, I was pretty excited. 8th MS Team being one of my favorite series and Easy 8 being the main cool suit to come out of it. I was pretty excited, and my brother said that he thought I should do Easy 8 next, so I'm going to do that because I listened to him and his opinions. Taking a look inside the box, I, uh, I pre-sorted the runners like I normally do to make my life easier and because I'm obsessive. So looking at the first one, here we have runner A1 in what I would describe as off-white or eggshell, one of the two. It is mostly armor pieces. Here we have pieces for the head, some chunks of the gun, one of the guns. There's multiple, which I'm pretty excited about, and a piece of the armor. It's pretty standard armoring for a kit that doesn't really have a lot of different colors going on, so I think they chose to do intricate detail. Here we have A2, which is just a duplicated section of runner with some pieces for the skirt, the shoulders, and the legs, I think. I know for a fact that one's leg, and those might be not positive, but I'm pretty sure it's just leg. Moving on, we'll look at runners B. Here's B1 in a nice navy blue for part of the torso and the feet mostly. This is really your good accenting color. And here there is also another small piece for the shield. That'll be the bottom of it. Runner B2, which this shows up as green, though to the naked eye I would describe it as a really dark gray or black. The camera sees it as green. So I'm going to trust it. This is pieces for the flight backpack that is one of the main gimmicks of this kit. Moving on, uh, runner C2 being smaller, I just placed it on top of runner C1. Uh, we'll just sort of glance over this one because it is a section of duplicate pieces from C1 that I will go over now. Looking at it, this is the duplicated section of pieces. Uh, looking at these, these are normally what I uh, encounter for knee joints in a lot of kits. These are for shoulders, and there is some thrusters for the space backpack. Here we have... I'm thinking this is for the skirt to hold it on, and pieces for the hips. The rest of the stuff for the guns, uh, several sets of hands torso, back of the shield, more pieces for the flight backpack, pieces for the regular backpack, and a latch. Moving on, we have D, which is, this is for the gun, and I'm pretty sure, looking from what I remember on the box, this will all be pieces holding the flight backpack in place. This is D, I think I said. Yes, D. Then we have the Beam Saber Blades, these are a little smaller and lighter in color than 
some of the more common beam saber blades, but I like them in the smaller ones because they're a little more anime accurate, which is always a plus for me. We have a ton of polycaps here. I'm not going to count them all, but there's easily 20 to 30 on here. I mean, look at the massive size of this. I'll give you another runner in comparison. There's a lot going on here. Moving on from that, we have this. It's just a thin, small sheet of plastic film that is used for the flight backpack. And to go with that, here we have stickers. These stickers, from what I've seen, will hold that ribbon in place, which it's kind of awful that it's done with stickers. It means you have a limited number of times you can take it on and off the kit. But it is. These are the stickers that will hold it in place. And then you have stickers for the eyes and various cameras here in red and green. Moving on, we have a very small sheet of sticker decals with your EFGF, Earth Federation Ground Forces, some Earth Federation Ground Forces symbols, symbol for the 8th MS team, and unit number, and some general detailing decals. Taking a look at the instructions, we have a nice full-size image of the completed model with the series it's from up here, and above that, some technical specifications and armaments, along with the HGUC logo and Bandai logos. Taking a look right inside, we have some pictures showing off some of the poses it can do, some information about the suit and its weapons, as well as, up at the top, information about the flight backpack. Uh, on the full color page, we have a set of instructions for completing and detaching the flight backpack, looking like those pieces I described earlier as pieces of holding it down. It is indeed correct. So that's cool. And it can also hold the... I think this is uh, for the net bazooka uh, or the parachute pack. It's one of the two that comes with the regular RX-79. So the backpack can hold that as well. Going one further, you can see your parts list. Going through here, you can see that you will be using pretty much everything. The only thing you won't be using is about six polycaps. You have a lot to work with. The instructions themselves are fairly standard, laid out in a, bunch, in a series of squares and rectangles. No interesting placements to note, though I would like some of the sections a little bit bigger for smaller pieces like this. Sometimes I get confused with orientation when the pictures are a little smaller. But other than that, the instructions are fairly standard and good, as they usually are with Bandai kits. Looking at the back, we have some of the same images we've seen throughout the box and at the front of the instruction booklet. We have an action pose, some information about flexibility and articulation in the legs, feet, and torso. More action detailing some information about the guns, and at the bottom, there is a color guide. So, all in all, I'm pretty excited for this kit. I love the Easy 8 It is one of my favorite suit designs. Easily in my top five mobile suits of all time. So, I'm going to spare you the trouble of watching me pack up. With everything said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!